Let's get to this now. Fox News alert. The Associated Press is reporting that Islamic State leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi has appeared for the first time in five years in video released by the extremist group. The Washington Post is reporting al-Baghdadi appears to be in good health, and he offered his support for the perpetrators of the attacks on Christians in Sri Lanka. Benjamin Hall reporting with more. Benj? Yeah, hi, Harrison. This is, of course, a major event uh, for ISIS. For, for some time now, we've heard rumors that Baghdadi may be seriously injured, if not killed. And today, we see him in this video making a rallying cry to his followers around the world. Uh, it's a clear sign that although the territorial caliphate is not defeated in Bahos, the ideological one uh, certainly is defeated. Uh, and he mentions that directly. He, in fact, blames the recent uh, Sri Lanka bombings. He says they were in revenge for the loss of the caliphate in Bahos. And he thanks other followers around the world for pledging allegiance to him, uh, not only Sri Lanka, but he also talks about Africa uh, and the attacks on French forces there. So this is a major, uh, a major mark for ISIS. And in fact, they had spent the last two days preparing for this big announcement and uh, ISIS watchers had seen something was coming and then they dropped this. It's widely been thought that if he was alive, he was hiding in the western desert in Ambar province. Uh, the video gives very little away in terms of that. It is heavily edited. It's thought that the audio track is overlain on top. Uh, it's about 18 minutes long and it's called In the Hospitality of the Emir of the Believers. And in it, it's him talking to other emirs whose faces are blurred out and uh, calling for revenge against the loss of the caliphate. So this bearded man, who looks very much like Baghdadi, it is believed by intelligence sites to be him, uh, was last seen, Baghdadi, in fact, when he gave a video uh, five years ago in the Al Nuri Mosque in Mosul. That was a defining video. This is another defining one now. And it's expected that uh, this certainly will be a rallying cry for his for his followers. He talks about the Crusaders. He talks about uh, continuing attacks on the West. And um, this certainly will be a very worrying sign that uh, ISIS as an ideologically driven terror group is very much still alive. Uh, Baghdadi came uh, from obscurity uh, out of Iraq, where he was held following the U.S. invasion in Camp Bukha. And he moved across into Syria, where he started ISIS uh, after al-Qaeda in Iraq, and very quickly took advantage of the Syrian civil war to create ISIS. He became very much the figurehead of this. And to this day, uh, when you see people uh, pledging allegiance to, uh, to ISIS, they pledge directly to him. And so this will be a really worrying sign moving forward. And I know intelligence groups very much trying to get as much detail as possible about where he is from this video, if indeed the audio was recorded at the same time as the video. But certainly uh, for ISIS, a clear sign from them that they intend to continue uh, their threats against the West. Harris? Yeah, you, you know, uh, before I let you go, Benjamin, I want to ask you about what this means for recruitment uh, for them, because sometimes you'll see videos like this come up at a point of crisis like Sri Lanka and, and other tragedies because it's a point of recruitment. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we've seen some other affiliate groups try to branch off on their own recently because they were without this figurehead Baghdadi. Certainly what this does is it consolidates power again. It reminds all of them that there is still this, uh, this caliphate of sorts uh, to pledge allegiance to. And you will certainly see this being used in ISIS propaganda in a big way over the coming weeks and months. A reminder that there is still one person, one figurehead, the caliph. Uh, who they can follow. So I think uh, very much worrying. Worrying that the West are not able to get control over the cyber sp sphere that ISIS yeah, has been point. able to use so, so well. Yeah, you, yeah. you hear intelligence officials especially talking about that. Uh, Benjamin Hall, thank you very much.